Hi, this is Kavita Suresh Kumar and in this video, I am going to demonstrate how to build a serverless API using Azure Functions. I am going to use the Visual Studio Code Editor for creating the function app and then deploying the function to that function app. Click Azure. Click Create Resource. Create Function App. So we need to give a unique name. So I'll give a name, some numbers, click enter. So I am going to deploy a Python function. So I'm going to select Python 3.10 and the location is to S. So now the function app is getting created. It is creating a storage account for this function app to use. So the function app demo app 72572 has been successfully created and this is the url link in which we will be able to access this app we'll be able to see the output information here so this is the url let's copy this so the functions 4.0 app is up and running now we are going to create a http trigger click this so select the folder where we want the functions project to be created and select the language python and select a template so we are going to select the template as http trigger because we are building a serverless api and let's give the name as demo api authorization level will give it as anonymous so that anybody will be able to access this API now it is creating the virtual environment so the project has been successfully created you can see that here so now let's go to the Explorer and then we'll deploy this particular function deploy to function app select the function app it is asking for confirmation whether do we want to deploy this function to the function app click deploy it is deploying the function to the demo app 72572 you will be able to see the update in this output window this is a very simple python function it expects name as a parameter Either the name can be given as a JSON through a JSON body or you'll be able to pass the name as a query parameter. If the name exists, it is going to give this statement like hello, the name, and then it is going to say this HTTP trigger function executed successfully. If you are going to execute this API without passing the name as a parameter or name in the JSON body, then it is going to tell this HTTP trigger function executed successfully, but pass the name in the query string. Now the deployment of the function to the function app completed successfully. This is the URL of the HTTP API which we have built. Copy this. So let's try executing this without providing the parameter. As expected, it says this function got triggered but you need to pass the name as a parameter to get a personalized response so i'm going to pass the name then i'm going to say with the name so now it is telling me hello kavita this http triggered function executed successfully so whenever we execute this api then only this particular function will get triggered and also we can see this particular application in the Azure portal. Let's go to the portal. Let's go to the function app. So you can see the function app what we created from the Visual Studio editor. You can see here. Click that. Click functions. So now you can see the function what we have added. Click here. You can click code plus test. Okay. So you can see the function here. Click this get function URL to get the function URL. Right, so it's the same as like what we got it here. And copy this here. 
you will get the same response it's the same url you can click test run right so here you can add a use the post method and you can give a json body i'll give it and click run so you can get the same message here along with that this http triggered function executed successfully so you will be able to test your functions locally here close in this video we have seen how to create a azure function app using visual studio code editor and then create a python serverless api using the http trigger template and then deploy that function to azure function app and then we validated the api using the browser as well as using the test functionality in the azure portal thanks for watching the demo